Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we're going to be talking about this week's upcoming traveling spirit, arriving this Thursday, the Hiking Grouch. We're going to be going over all the cosmetics the spirit has, which has everything I'm wearing, besides the cape, of course, and the outfit. So as you can see, they have this old man mask with the big eyebrows and the mustache. And it comes with this little balding sort of hairstyle. I don't know why, but ever since I started playing Sky, I love dressing like a little weird old man. So these both are great cosmetics for me, but the favorite thing from this spirit is the bow tie accessory. I love it. It looks so cute with every outfit. Now I'm going to show you where you can find the hiking grouch. This spirit can be found in the Sanctuary Islands, so we're going to head this way through the barrier here. And we'll head towards the Sanctuary Islands. If you're super new to the Sanctuary Islands, we're just going to head to the opposite side of this area and fly through the clouds ahead. Now that we're here, I'm just going to stick towards the right hand side and fly on top of these clouds so I can keep on flapping. The hiking grouch is on the right side of the island and it can be found pretty much just right below where we are. There they are. Now this is one of the harder spirits to relive. It is a very, very long carry ball quest. Oh boy, let's get started. My best advice is just to take it slow and steady with this spirit. There's a lot of points where you have to fly with the ball and slowly carry it up a cliff. So try not to fly too much. Try and go as slow as you can. And you can always redo it if you drop the spirit. Although I do understand it's a bit frustrating. One of the things I like to do is while you're flying up, make sure the edge of the circle on the ground there actually shows up on the platform you want to land on. That way when you land on the platform, you'll already be holding the ball in place. If you extend beyond that little circle area, you will definitely be dropping it. So we're going to fly across here. Ah! The circle is there so we can land. And now across. I would say that this is the most difficult part around here. And remember to let yourself charge before you fly. As you carry this ball, it will slowly charge you. So you don't want to run out of your flight or you're just going to fall. With that, the hard part is done. Now we're just going to head all the way down here.
And now we're just going to fly up until we're at another ledge. And then at this point, I usually will just fly up the mountain, but um, I think it made me drop it. So, you know, not to be cocky, we're just going to carefully carry it through the hole here. Yeah, I dropped it. Ah! So, let's just take it slow and steady for the final part. Don't want to lose it somehow. And this will be our final checkpoint. And now we're at the very top. That is where we find the hiking grouch. Just remember you'd be grouchy too if you had to hike this every single day, multiple times per day. Now let's check out the grouchy emote. Starting with the grouchy emote, level one. Oh, so grump, level two. Level three. And level four. Now let's take a close look at all the cosmetics this spirit comes with. Starting with the mask. Now this mask, you can sort of see one of the eyes. Um, it is a very old man style mask. Huge fluffy eyebrows weighing down over the eyes. Big old mustache hanging down as well. I love this mask and the eyebrows bounce so much as you walk, which I think is very funny. Next up we have the hairstyle, which is like a balding style hairstyle. I'm not sure what this type of haircut is called, but you can see it does a little bend around the back. It kind of reminds me of like a clown hair in a way. A little bit poofy, not much on top. And of course, one of the most beloved items in the game, in my opinion, is the bow tie. This is used in the pendant slot, so it can be used as a necklace of sorts. You can wear it over any outfit and most capes. And you just look so dashing. As you walk, it bounces a little bit. So cute. I really love this one. And now let's check out the estimated pricing for the spirit. Alright, so please bear in mind that this is an estimation, it is not a guarantee of what's going to come to the game, and the spirit will likely have a prop, so you may want to save some extra hearts or extra candles for that. To start off, we have the level 1 grumpy emote, which is free. The level 2 version connected to that is 4 hearts. Then above that, we have a blessing for 5 candles. Connected to that, we have the mask for 34 candles and a heart for three candles. Above that we have a permanent wing buff for two ascended candles. Above that we have the level three grouchy emote for three hearts. We have a level four grouchy emote for six hearts. And we have the hairstyle for 42 candles. Right above that is another blessing for five candles. And above that is finally the pendant, the bow tie for 50 candles. So all in all, we're looking at an estimated pricing of about 13 hearts, 139 candles, and 2 ascended candles. All in all, this spirit seems like a very affordable spirit, especially given the fact that a lot of people are likely going to skip some of the items. I know uh, being an old man is not a lot of people's aesthetics, so 
I can see this being a cheaper spirit for a lot of players. And that is it for the hiking grouch. Thanks so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!